Welcome, everybody, to another half ass beer review. My name is Josh. Tonight, there's a beer calling our name. But before we get into that, how about you help me buy my next beer? It's simple and free. Just go down, hit the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way in helping me drink more beer. Now, back to tonight's beer. Tonight's beer is a can. Special Brownies, Chocolate Stout, 7.3% ABV, brewed and canned by Sycamore Brewing Company, Charlotte, North Carolina. I just showed you the can art, but I'm going to show it to you again. Because we're going to talk about it a little more in depth. Special Brownies, I think you all know what they are. And whoever drew the can art for this was definitely on Special Brownies. There's what looks like squish bubble gum, sitting down, eating Special Brownies, an upside down peanut, a pterodactyl with upside down wings, a strawberry with horns, a gumdrop with hair, and what can only be a pair of testicles with bunny rabbit ears. Like I said, definitely on special brownies when they were doing this. I enjoyed the can art. I can't stop laughing about it. Every time I pick it up and look at it, I start laughing some more. Oh, and get this. On the bottom of the can, there's a half-baked reference. This is Samson, Smarty Pants. Who was he talking to when he said that? Just in the comments, let me know. But let's crack this open. Let's pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, get a rating out of it. Nice crack out of that beer. Ooh, it's getting high. Did I pour it too hard? I don't think so. Perfect pour. Look at that. This is a dark beer. Black through the glass. Nice brown head on it. Big chocolate smell on this beer. Really big chocolate smell. That's all I'm getting off of this. Oh, I think this is going to be a very delicious chocolatey beer to have in my mouth. <laughs> um, as always, on half ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Okay. So this is a pretty thin mouthfeel uh, for a stout. Definitely a little bit of coffee in here. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is king in this beer. And it is working very well in this stout. At first, I wasn't sure because of the thinness if I was enjoying it. But the longer it lingers in my mouth, I really like this beer. This is actually my first run-in with uh, Sycamore Brewing Company. I picked this up. I don't remember the name of the store, but we were in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at the time. And I found a four pack of this. It was probably the best bottle or craft beer store in town. I tried three or four different places, and this was definitely the best one. I got a really good vanilla cream ale while I was there as well. Uh, I don't remember what else, but we drank all the other stuff. This is the only stuff I brought back from that trip to the store. And I'm glad that I get this whole four pack to myself. Actually, I might have gave this one of these away. Yeah, this is good. This is a good beer. Again, that's oddly thin for how chocolatey it is. And I mean, you sometimes when you drink a uh, stout and it's so chocolatey, you expect there to be more of a thickness to it or a you know girth to the uh, stout you're drinking. I'm gonna take one more drink and get you a rating. Yeah, this is good. That chocolatiness, the chocolate tone in this beer is very good. It's very reminiscent of a brownie. A special brownie, maybe not so much, but there's only so much you can do when you're brewing a beer and calling it special brownies. I think this is a good beer. I'm going to rate this beer 4.3 out of 6. That's in the good range. Uh, it's somewhere in the middle there. It's not great, and that's fine. This is just enjoyable stout. 
I'm going to drink more. Like I said, I have the whole four pack or at least three of them. And yeah, it's good enough to drink the rest of them. Yeah, there's zero qualms against this beer right here. I highly suggest if you're anywhere in the distribution ring of Sycamore Brewing Company, and this is around, you pick it up. It's a cool name, cool can art. They even put a half-bake reference on the bottom of the can, and the beer's good. It's very good. Yeah, definitely get this beer. Now, that's going to do it for this episode of half ass Beer Review. If you're new here and you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you could, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. In doing so, it'll keep you up to date and notify you every time I post a new review. Also, if you want to leave a comment about something you want me to try, or if you just want to talk some smack in general, I'm all for it. Leave it right down there in the comments. But until next time, please keep your fridges full and have a great night.